by how to create a web case in Saver Central. So let me go ahead and display here Saver Central. We have two options. One will be from the Saver Central homepage. Under My Activity, you can click on Go to Cases. And here, not only you'll see the cases that you have already submitted to the help desk, but also you have the button New Case to start a new case. The other option that you have is if you are in Central and you rather click on the Support tab, you can go to Get My Help to access the same screen. You have to complete only three easy steps. The first one will be to select the area and product that you need assistance with. In this case, we will select Saber Red 360. And then you will be asked, what is the, your case in reference to? So here you have to decide, okay, are you having any issues with ticketing, configuration, printing? So I will select ticketing and then click on next to continue to step number two. Here you have two mandatory fields. One will be the subject. Here you are required to enter a title. For example, in this case, I will enter error at time of ticketing. It could be a brief description or um, sorry, brief title of what issue you're having or what you need assistance with. And then you have the description box where you can expand and add as much information as possible. We actually recommend you to enter as much information as you can. That way it's easier to understand what the situation is. So here, for example, you can type trying to issue a ticket. Then you can add BNR and Go ahead and add the PNR. And also you have the option to go to Saver. And if you're getting an error like I'm getting here, you can just go ahead and highlight it and then do copy. Come back to the case creation and paste it. Now, if you have a picture, a capture that you took from the system, you can also copy that one. So I have already one taken from this error that I got in Saver, and you can also add it as an image like this. Now, if you have extra information to add any documents or any extra screenshots, you can also upload them as a file by clicking here and you'll be able to access your computer documents to attach any documentation. Okay, so let's go ahead and close here. And then all you have to do is click on next to go on to the final step. And here's very important because you will decide, and I think this is one of the questions that were asked at the beginning, whether we were calling customers or not. So here you have the option to decide whether you want to continue as an online case meaning you'll receive your response on a notification here on your notification bell in Saver Central, okay? Or if you want the help desk team to go ahead and contact you via phone, so you have to click on callback. After clicking on callback, make sure that you verify the phone number that is entered because this is the phone number that the help desk team will use to contact you regardless of the case you created. Next, all you have to do is click on submit to get a confirmation in a case number for you to follow up on. So choose a second here while it creates the information. Here is your case number. The status is case received. You also have the created date, the information you've entered, the screenshot you enter. And if you forgot to add any files, you can go ahead and click here, upload files to add more information to the case you created. Okay, so these are the three simple steps to create a case. Do we have any questions on case creation? Uh, no, we don't have any questions in the chat uh, so far, but I just want to reinforce to uh, Colin's questions uh, before. 
And now that you have uh, specified a little bit more about the case creation for Lambda, that you are able, as you can see, you are able to uh, request a callback uh, and to be contacted by our specialist over the phone to the telephone number that you have provided. And just want to reinforce the, the fact that you are able to do a close follow up on the cases as Fernanda showed before. Uh, so you can verify the status and keep on adding more information if needed. So uh, these are the highlights I would like to make for regarding this tool. Yes, remember that from the home page, you can go to support cases and click on go to cases. And here you have the list of all the cases of your cases, right? So if you want to access any of them, you just can click on more to actually access the case and see if you have any response. Now, if you selected the option for online case, you will be receiving a notification here on your bell notification that you have an answer under that case. So you can go ahead and access the case from the notification bell as well. Okay. Okay, now um, 